Hello everyone, I'm Carlos. Welcome back to Brooklyn Forever and Southern. Please welcome back Oya. Hi guys, thanks for having me. My pleasure. Today we're going to review Orman Man from Orman Jane. Excited. Keep it right there. Are you familiar with this house? Yeah, familiar, but I have never smelled this one in particular. So, so you smelled a couple of their mm -hmm. offerings. So this is a British house founded in 2002 by Linda Pilkington. This particular fragrance is Ormond Man. This is a travel spread. I don't own a full bottle, but it's on my to-buy list because I really do like this one. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> the line was created by Geza Schoen, whom you know from Eccentric Molecules. Yeah. And he has another brand, which I can't remember at the moment, but he's a fine perfumer. I do love his work. Clive Christian X for Men mm. was by him. And I think everybody loves that one. <laughs> yeah. This came out in 2004. Don't know if I said that already, but if not, it came out in 2004. <laughs> it contains juniper berry, bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, coriander seeds, agarwood, black hemlock, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, and musk. Hmm. I'll spray it on my skin. You know, to me, this is like a mysterious walk through the woods. You know, it's very, it's like a mysterious fog with, um, well, I love juniper berry. I think uh, when you, especially, you know, when it's like right at the opening, it just creates a really nice sparkle, but a little bit of that kind of green sparkle. So it's a really nice, bright opening. And then, oh, it's very, it's very mysterious. It's almost like smelling, yeah, it's like foggy. What I get, I get a lot of spice done very nicely. I get pepper, definitely get cardamom. A little bit of a bright opening, but it goes straight into the spicy aspect. And then woody, but mysterious, I would agree with you. There's just something about it. I can't stop smelling my arm. Right? There is something to it that just kind of keeps drawing you in. It's... Uh... If I can describe it in a color, this probably would have been like a dark, like emerald green, covered with a little... Lovely. Fabulous. I wish it had just a little bit better performance, but the time that it does wear on your skin, mm -hmm. it wears beautifully. I do like this one a lot. On my skin, it just seems to work perfectly, as do a lot of Gaze Shown's other perfumes. So it's much softer on you. You know, I feel like you are... Cause, um, on the blotter, it jumps and it's a little bit more dry green. I feel like it's, it comes down a lot. It goes into uh, the soft woods on you. That, that's what I'm picking up. I hear that often. Like people will spray something the same time as me and it'll smell different on them than me. But on my skin, if you've been following my channel for a while, if you do like my recommendations, then you'll probably dig this one. This is really good and definitely, definitely signature scent worthy. Yeah. This is, this is very wearable. I would not tire of this. It's one of those that I would not tire of. No, it has the lightness to it and the freshness to it, but it has so much more going on, so much body that it's almost like it keeps asking for you to, to get another, another whip of it and just kind of keep coming back to it, which I think is really quite marvelous about, you know, having something like that as a signature. It kind of just keeps playing. And I know a lot of women who do wear this one, even though it's Ormond Man. There is an Ormond woman. If you watch my video, I'll leave the link down below. I did when they arrived here in the United States because they were in England all these years and they just recently came to all the stores in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Full bottle worthy. Get your nose on this one. I would like to help you do that thanks to the generosity of Josie and Oswald. Oh, I love Josie. Hi. <laughs> You're watching. We'll have a sample set of their masculine fragrances. I think it's four or five of them. To one lucky subscriber, US only, I'm sorry for this one. All you have to do is subscribe to Built In Fragrance Lover, follow all your bar on Instagram, like and share this video, then leave a comment down below with what your favorite Ormond Jane is or what you enjoyed most about this review of Ormond Man with Olya. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing and don't forget, <laughs> you jinxed me because she said I, I rolled through this really fast. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing and don't forget to click on that little bell icon so you don't miss notifications on future reviews and content, fun giveaways, and all my beautiful guests at BFL. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're all well. I'll see you at the next review.
It's up there. Why am I fucking up? <laughs> <laughs> See you later, people. Peoples. My peoples, my peoples. <laughs> <laughs>